Now to a story you will only see here on News Nation tonight. Officials are getting warehouses ready to roll. Vials of COVID-19 vaccines tonight are sitting in ultra-cold freezers in two Pfizer distribution centers waiting for that final green light from the FDA. Now the hub site is in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Pfizer executives say they will also use their distribution center located in Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin. News Nation anchor Ruta Bay Shabazi live there in Pleasant Prairie tonight. And Ruta Bay, you literally are at the starting line tonight. Good evening. Rob, good evening. And it is remarkable to think about what is in that warehouse behind me could be the answer to so many people's prayers after the better part of a year of suffering for Americans. So this is one of two distribution centers in the United States. The vaccines will be ready to go if and when they get FDA approval, which could be in a matter of days, and then they'll be ready to be rolled out, distri distributed within hours. As the country waits for FDA approval of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine, a father brings his young children to a pharmaceutical warehouse to memorialize the day he hopes will be the beginning of the end of a very painful chapter in history. Just remembering the times we had that maybe the things we took for granted before this, um, that this inside this building uh, may put us on the track to going back to where we want to get to. At a hearing in Congress, executives from rivals UPS and FedEx teamed up to answer questions about the supply chain. Lawmakers also asked about the manufacturing of dry ice, the potential for cyber attacks, and the ability to deliver the vaccine to rural communities. More people were already using e commerce as a result of the pandemic, and even more will want to ship gifts for the holidays. So, how will the vaccine transportation? fit into this demand for shipping. At Philadelphia International Airport, workers lined up giant dry ice filled refrigerated containers that will be used to receive and transfer the vaccines that can only be opened twice a day and last a maximum of two weeks. It's basically a, a giant fridge, think of it that way. Uh, it runs on batteries, so whilst it's in transit, it's, it's able to regulate that temperature. Hospitals, including Mount Sinai in New York, have been holding practice runs to test their distribution and vaccination capabilities for when the vaccine comes. Each vial will contain five doses. COVID testing tents will eventually serve as vaccination centers. We have to empty the box uh, within 90 seconds and open the freezer. The freezer is a sub zero freezer, um, also called an ultra low freezer, um, kept at negative 80. The first shipment is expected to cover 3.2 million people, nowhere near enough for the 21 million healthcare workers in the U.S. Government officials said initial shipments. Would also go to five government agencies, including the Departments of Defense, State, and Veterans Health Administration. We really want to treat this vaccine as the liquid gold that it is because it's, it's really the only tool that we have right now in our toolbox to, to cure this disease. So Pfizer and BioNTech shattering records by getting this vaccine ready to be rolled out in 11 months. Again, we are just awaiting FDA approval and then it will be ready to go. It will first go to healthcare workers and nursing home facilities. The general public likely won't get this vaccine, uh, won't be accessible to them until springtime. So that is something to prepare for. But again, this is the starting point. It is a, an exciting time right now and the FDA could approve this vaccine in a matter of days. From Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin, Rudabay Shabazi, News Nation.